Here we are looking for a reaction to hydrogen peroxide. I get this on Amazon. I think they're like a buck a piece if you order. I think they come with two or three. So I've done previous videos on this. You can check out my home acid mineral ID testing videos. And these are septarian nodules. I have a whole big playlist on those that you definitely want to check out. So I just learned something really interesting today. I have a chart to share with you and everything. And it's going to help you very specifically use hydrogen peroxide to identify your the minerals in your rocks and mineral specimens. So it's, it's actually much more specific to specific minerals. I'm overusing the word, pardon me. Nothing was coming to mind than I thought. I used to say it can indicate biogenic material or sulfides, metallic ore plus sulfur, and it's actually way more specific than that. That was a generalization. So I've been very excited to share the details with you and kind of uh, narrow it down. Okay, I wonder why this one is it. You can definitely see it bubbling up here. It's taken a minute. So if these septarian nodules, if these were your typical septarian nodules, they would be limestone. The round part would be limestone. And then the veins would be aragonite. It'd be a darker color. And then the, you know, the lighter toned crystals would be calcite which are all calcium carbonates. In fact, calcite and aragonite are polymorphs, which means they have the same chemical composition, but the, uh, their, the way the crystal lattice, so to speak, is set up is different. So they have different uh, crystal structures, but same chemicals. And so that's what most of them are. I mean, you'll be hard pressed to find. I mean, now that you know, you can probably find it, but you'll be hard pressed to find the minerals that we're identifying here in these septarians in literature. It took me a long time and I still haven't really found everything. All right, so let's focus on the septarians. Definitely having a reaction. So now let's talk about what it means. Let's get to the good stuff. Hey, before I show you the chart, I'm gonna put it in the description, share it with everybody. Uh, please do me a favor and like this video. Just click the thumbs up button below. Share it with somebody you know who's interested in geology, uh, mineralogy, and the like. And leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video. Ask questions, engage. I appreciate all of it. Liking and sharing really helps the channel more than you know. I just kind of learned it myself, so I would appreciate that. And consider subscribing if you enjoy this type of content. All right, so now let's look at the results. Okay, we gotta test one more part. This is what I suspected. So as I said, these, these are not limestone concretions and so the question is wh what makes up the actual concretion you know the host rock and this reaction is going to tell us a lot actually now if we used vinegar and got a reaction that would tell us we have calcium carbonate hydrogen peroxide is very different it tells us a much different story and with real specificity see what we got oh look it's really bubbling right there all right so what i do at this point and i'm gonna stop the video and pick back up oh, now we're getting some action see very delayed though which is really interesting. I could almost see, do you see that? I swear I just saw almost a, what would you call it? A, like the gases releasing off of the rock. That was interesting. Let me know if you saw that. <laughs> Maybe you need to rewind and check it out. I could swear I could visually see the gases escaping from this section here. I, I wanna know if I'm crazy or not. I totally forgot what I was talking about, so my apologies. But courtesy of ChatGPT and my own diligence and, and knowing the questions to ask, I must say it's not a miracle, but I will tell you, it has been the best resource so far of all, especially if you know exactly what questions to ask. So I have the most awesome chart and it's going to tell us specific to minerals, not just as a group, not just, oh, it could be biogenic material or it could be a sulfide, metallic ore, and sulfur. It's very specific to actual mineral varieties. So I had no idea, and it's going to be really valuable. I'm very excited. So again, just inexpensive hydrogen peroxide, and this is going to tell us a lot. So at this point, oh, remember, at this point, I'm going to stop the video and take some pictures, and then I'll resume. I always do that when doing my diagnostics. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. The best is coming next. 